Hi kids, welcome to Dixie Storytime World. Are you ready to listen to Silly Goose and Dizzy Duck play hide and seek? Silly Goose and Dizzy Duck went for a walk in the woods. Suddenly, Silly Goose held on to Dizzy Duck's wing and said, I think someone's following us. They looked around, but there was no one there. Silly me, said Silly Goose, I must be imagining things. They walked on again. Suddenly, Dizzy Duck leaped into the air and said, I heard a twig snap. They turned slowly around and saw a clever fox tiptoeing away. Gooey! We can see you, called Silly Goose. Are you playing hide and seek? Can we play too? said Dizzy Duck. All right, said Clever Fox. He smiled a hungry smile. You hide. While I count to five. One. Silly Goose tried to squeeze inside a hollow log, but she was too fat. Two. Dizzy Duck tried to climb a tree, but he was scared of heights. Three. Silly Goose crawled under a holly bush, but it was much too prickly. Four. Dizzy Duck jumped into the river, but it was too cold. Five. Silly Goose scuttled under a pile of leaves. Coming, ready or not. Dizzy Duck squatted behind a pile of stones. Which one shall I eat first? Ha <laughs> ha ha, sniggered Clever Fox. The Silly Goose or the Dizzy Duck? He began to look for them. Dizzy Duck giggled. Silly Goose sneezed. Clever Fox crept up behind Dizzy Duck. Grizzly Bear crept up behind Clever Fox. Boo! boomed Grizzly Bear. Ah! yelled Clever Fox and he shot out of the woods. Just as well I came along when I did, chuckled Grizzly Bear. You frightened our friend. Grumbled Silly Goose and spoiled our game," said Dizzy Duck. "You'll have to play instead." One, two, three, four, five. Coming, ready or not," called Silly Goose and Dizzy Duck. Now, where on earth can he be? <laughs> the end. Thank you for listening. I'll see you soon in the next video. Bye for now.